I've been asked a lot of questions for this video. Over a thousand actually. That's probably more questions than you'd be asked trying to buy paracetamol in a pharmacy. Obviously I can't answer them all. So I've picked the most frequent asked and the most interesting ones and have broken them down into three categories. The most frequent and random, YouTube and the channel, and lastly questions related to me and the missus that she is joining me to answer at the end. So let's get into it. Longtime subscriber Alexa Escalona asks, any chance of a face reveal? Yeah, I'll eventually do one. I'm full time on YouTube now, so I don't really care as much about having my face public, but I'll wait until I'm a little bit bigger yet. Let's just say 222,222 subscribers, because two looks like a duck, and I don't need to explain myself further. Patrick Ryan asks, Dearest Ducky, what county are you from? Because I can't place your accent. I'll skip this one, nobody else really wants to know that. Oh, fine. I've been apprehensive about sharing this because the internet is riddled with oddballs that want to track me down and put things in my bum. But if you all want to know it that badly, I'm from Tipperary. I was born in Dublin and went to college in Cork. So essentially, I'm a Tipperarian with a mix of Dublinish and Corkese in my vocal twang. And that's probably why so many people struggle to pinpoint my accent. And before you ask, no, I don't follow GAA. Shiku asks, Barry's or Lion's Tea? Remember, the answer will change how many people think of you. Barry's or Lion's? Fucking rich Uncle Pennybags here flexing with his rich people tea. In my house, we fight over Fallons and McGraths. FBI asks, how do you feel about us knowing about your internet browsing history? Easily, my biggest worry is one day having to explain my search history to my audience. Like, how do you comfortably explain away searching Brazilian midget amputees to 50,000 people? Grim's Grim asks, the most drunk experience you've ever had, aka unintended hookups, crazy shit done, unexpected changes in behavior, etc. Good story about that, actually. I plan on doing a video on sometime soon, so I'll stick a pin in that. She Devil 1432 asks, where do you draw the line sexually? You can draw a line. Oh, hold on. I'm going to tell the missus. She says, no, you can't draw a line and I have to do what she says and she definitely needs to shut the f up and mind her business. I Love Cactus asks, what is your favorite alcoholic bevy? Depends what I'm in the mood for. Typically cider, shots, some beers and cocktails because they are delish. And sometimes I drink rosé when I'm feeling fancy. Blue Flames asks, what do Irish people like yourself think about Scotland? I've never been, but I'd love to go. I think going on the sauce with the Scots would be a great laugh. They're just as mental as the Irish, so I reckon it would be a proper good sesh. And a Scottish accent on women is pretty hot. Kyle Scanlon asks, favorite sexual position? I'm just curious. It is ducky style. It's like doggy style, but it doesn't last as long and you hate yourself after. Miss Miss Jordan 1 asks, what were the worst injuries you've ever had? When I was a teen, I tried to do a board slide on a curb on my skateboard that I didn't realize was generously waxed, which shot the skateboard out from under my feet, causing me to come straight down and crack my tailbone on the curb. I don't know if I actually broke anything because I never went to the hospital or that, but needless to say, I couldn't sit down properly for a week. Oh Madden asks, what age were you when you got the shift? I was about 14, which even then was a miracle because I was an incredibly awkward teen. I didn't develop any chroma confidence until I was about 19 or 20. <laughs> Paddy the Legend 16 asks, why did you decide to start YouTube? Well, I was in my mid-twenties stuck in a dead-end job and spent all my free time watching movies and playing video games. I felt like I was watching my life tick by with nothing to show for it. I wanted some sort of legacy, something to say that I was actually here. And I've always had an interest in filmmaking and comedy, so it just clicked together with a YouTube channel. So that's what drove me to start it. Cardwit asks, if you were to name any part of making a video you find most irritating slash annoying, what would that be? Creating the clips, the frames, the pictures, whatever you want to call them. Each video is a essentially a slideshow of about 300 to 600 separate images that I have to make. And it is easily the most tedious and time consuming part of making the videos. I have tried lighting the load by commissioning editors to help, but it is a lot of work for what I can afford to pay. So they haven't really lasted longer than a single project once they realize how much work it is. I'm sure there's easier ways to make these videos that more skilled editors know, but until I meet them, I'll continue to grind them out myself. Preston Downey asks, out of all your videos, is there one that you feel is underrated in some way? Like it doesn't seem to get much love on your channel. Yeah, the video, The Fart That Ruined a Romance. It's easily one of my favorite videos that I've ever put out. The writing, the editing, and the video as a whole just clicked while I was making it. It was my first adventure into a more storytelling type of video, and it is by a country mile, according to 90% of the comments on it, the funniest video I've ever put out. Everyone who's seen it seems to have really enjoyed it, so given how fun it was to make and how well people received it, I'll say that one. The reason I say it's underrated is because it was demonetized upon release, which ended up really suppressing the views on it, so not a lot of people have actually seen it. Which is a pain, but it is what it is. Shane Dixon asks, if you 
you had a chance to return to retail for double the salary, would you do it? Oh God, no. I don't care if you offered me Margot Robbie and she could only speak to me through interpretive blowies. I still wouldn't go back. I'd sooner be broke and happy than rich and miserable. Work takes up a good 50% of our lives. That's a big chunk of our lives to hate. So I'd rather do something I enjoy and not be paid well. Geek Tunes asks, have you ever met fans in real life? If not, do you plan to? Yeah, well, kind of. I was in a pub in Cork called BDSM. It's my usual spot when I visit Cork. And was chatting with a chap who asked me what do I do. I told him and he'd actually seen a couple of my Accurate Guide to Ireland videos. Though he didn't flippy shit or anything, unfortunately. That's why I say kinda. I think he just maybe came across the videos rather than actually been a proper fan. So he didn't ask me to sign his tits or take a photo or anything I could have stroked my ego to. Which is f***ing bullshit. As for if I plan to do fan meetups, yeah, one day. I'm still very small as far as YouTubers go. So I'll wait until I'm at a size where more than 10 people would show up. Robert Hamilton asks, Was it hard going full time on YouTube? Fan from Jamaica. Well, hello Jamaica. No, not at all. Once I knew I wasn't going to starve to death from my YouTube income, then I was out the door like a hot snot. Granted, I did take a sizable hit financially, so adjusting to making way less money was probably the hardest bit. But that's always improving with YouTube. There's no ceiling compared to retail, where it's decent money, but it rarely improves month to month. Kyle Scanlon asks, How's life been since you retired from Savage Value? It's been pretty chill, I won't lie. Outside of making videos, I have it more comfortable than most, though there is a lot of pressure on getting videos out on time, seeing as my wages depend on it. But that's very much a first world problem. Number one, Doomer Horse asks, What is the worst part about being a YouTuber? Oh, the weirdos. Look, I love interacting with fans, don't get me wrong, it's the best part of being a YouTuber. It's great getting people's reactions to videos, hearing how my videos cheered them up on a bad day, or how excited people get when I occasionally jump into a Discord call. But some people can be really odd. Every now and again, I'll get 15 messages from the same guy asking if we can be friends, or somebody will message me just to tell me that their dad died seven years before they were born and they're allergic to crayons, or the 12 year old that joins a Discord call and spends the next 15 minutes telling us that he's a pimp that's also an astronaut who drives a race car when he's not slinging his space bitches. Again, these are outliers. 90% of the people I talk to are perfectly lovely. That's why I like to keep my Twitter DMs open. But to make a long story short, the worst thing about being a YouTuber is the same as retail. Weird people. JGDSGHST asks, what do you use to draw your characters? To draw Ducky, I use other people. Yeah, I'm not nearly artistically talented enough to draw characters very well. I use an artist to draw my characters and pretty much always have been since about two or three years ago, particularly the artist Rokata, who I'm sure a good few of you out there heard me mention before. He is a freelance artist that does commissions, so feel free to hit him up if you want something done. Same goes for the artist Skumkin, who draws my lovely thumbnails. As far as the backgrounds and set pieces go, that's pretty much the only art I actually draw myself, as I'm sure you know from the little jokes and gags I often hide in the background, for those paying attention. Julian Falcon asks, What will you do when you reach 1 million subs? Well, after I have the mother of all victory wanks, I will assemble the Duck Army and begin the march east and start my journey towards the real end game of becoming Lord and Master of the Universe and eater of all the delicious Poon Tang. <laughs> So the first question comes from Hippie Mama, who asks, when are you going to have the missus in a video? That's not a question aimed at me. I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that one. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, I just used that, you giving out about the question. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you want the world to be introduced to you? <laughs> Do you know, but you get me. I don't, I don't see how I'm supposed to answer that. God, you're so f***ing awkward. Rogue Soul Reaper asks on Twitter, are you and your missus actually that rude to each other, or is it just memes? It's not rude. We have the crack. We have the bends. We take the mickey out of each other for fun. It hurts sometimes <laughs> and then she immediately laughs in my face yeah no you're as f***ing bad as i am for just this morning she called me a fat cunt as i left the kitchen <laughs> it's true <laughs> you stop the f***ing jar jar binks that's not jar jar binks <laughs> what is it then it's me <laughs> i suppose you're <laughs> equally as f***ing annoying <laughs> It's shamefully true. 1996 Ford Crown Victoria asks, To the missus, how much of the Living With A Woman video is accurate? Yeah, it's all true. I can't even lie. <laughs> Your hair everywhere. Oh yes, that's true. Well. Um, you giving me like two and a half hour long f***ing episodic stories about your work I like to talk. You certainly f***ing do. <laughs> um, farting in the bed. Yeah, you do that too though. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm expected to be doing that. I'm asleep, I'm not aware of it. You're supposed to be a lady. I never said I was a lady. How are you supposed <laughs> to take the woman you love serious when she's ripping like proper men farts in a bed? I don't run up to you and stick my arse in your face and fart, do you I? You f***ing would if you thought you'd get away with it. <laughs> Neon Mixtape asks, To the missus, how did you feel after watching Ducky's video about living with you? Fine. Like I said, I can't lie about any of it. I'm not Felix even exposed. ashamed. <laughs> I feel like your dirty knickers have been splayed all over for the world to see. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I am. I am. That's it. 
Fair enough. Because we can actually make progress now. Fuck off. <laughs> Lilla Shirt Lane, Lilla Shirt Lane, I don't know. Lilla Shirt Lane. Li- lilac heart, is it? Ah, okay. <laughs> Why didn't they put a f***ing space there? Like, they have a space between f***ing heart and lane. Obviously it runs in together, it's not like a double barrel. It's lilac heart. Yeah. <laughs> lilac heart. <laughs> lilac heart Lane asks, The missus, have you finished that list of falls about Ducky yet? Unfortunately, that list goes on and on and on. <laughs> It will never end. Deadly Defender asks, To the missus, what is the best and worst thing about living with Ducky? You make me food, which is a great I thing. I do cook up an absolute f***ing storm. And, you know, you give fairly decent hugs so I can get them whenever I want, forcefully or willingly. What and, about worst? I mean, you haven't done it in a while, but you you leave your clothes in a pile on the bedroom floor. So it'd be it when I get up in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning, without fail, I trip over the f***ing <laughs> Good names. See, I have lost count the amount of times I've wanted to pick up said you and beat you to death with it. There is a way around that though. When you wake up, a little trick I learned over the years is called opening your eyes when you stand up and walk out of the room. It's just the height of ignorance to leave your fucking shoes in the way. Long story short, I'm great at cooking. I'm present when you want a hug. Yeah. That's what's great. That's a personal quality of mine that's fantastic. I'm just fucking there. And I suppose you're all right looking. And I'm, I'm all right looking. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, I give fantastic sex. Is that what you said, wasn't it? I yeah. never said and that. And you no. fall over my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Cormac McG123 asks, To the missus, what's it like living with Ducky? Well, every day is a laugh, ain't it? <laughs> every day is an adventure. <laughs> yes, it's great. Mm-hmm. I wake up every morning in awe over how just you. <laughs> Fucking damn right you do. Beans are nice. For the missus, how fit is Ducky on a scale of 1 to 10? You're averaging it at about a two. About a two. About a two, and that's being nice. That's nice. I'm, I'm averaging on the same scale in which a shit is named by. I'm going to become <laughs> friends with Jason Mamo when I'm rich and famous, and I'm going to shift him just so I can rub it in your face that I shifted him and you didn't. That actually hurts more, you know, if you said you cheated on me. Fine, I could tolerate it, but if you done that, that would hurt. <laughs> well, if I cheated on you with Jason Mamo, oh, I'd let him fucking absolutely destroy my arse just to fucking spite you. That's the level I go to. Quiva Jordan asks, For the missus, is Ducky built like a fine Mullingar heifer or are you with him for his magnum dong? You're small and cute. A, a Mullingar heifer though is a big f*** off male cow, isn't it? Is it a heifer? No, a heifer is the female cow. I don't know. I'm from the country but I'm not a farmer. Yeah, you're a big like. dirty f***ing culture, yeah. Sure, you stink a cow shite to this day. You should know. <laughs> Dalek Supreme with cheese asks, To Ducky, how long are you? I uh, suppose about a good mouthful. And to the missus, how long is Ducky really? They'll know you're lying. No, they won't. They will. So have they seen it? When people click into a Sergeant fucking Ducky video, right? They can sense the you weapon. You know ducks have really small willies. They have like. corkscrew willies. If you unravel them, they're really long. About the size of a Tic Tac. Fuck you. Simp asks, Is sex with Ducky good? What would you rate it from 1 through 17? I don't like this 1 to 17. It should be 1 to 10. If it was 1 to 10, I'd say 10. If it was 1 to 17, it doesn't sound right, so I'd have to say it fell 15. <laughs> See? So uh, I'm a 10 out of 10, but if you extend the scale, I, I lose some points. Yeah, because it gets bigger, you know. So you're saying 15 out of 17 then. Room for improvement. Oh, I'll be there. Brilliant. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Dalvin Bobby asks, are you and the missus going to tie the knot? Well, seeing as the leap year has just gone by and she hasn't f***ing proposed yet, I'm going to say it's going to be at least another four years. It's 2020, right? I shouldn't f***ing have to. Sylvia Umbra asks, what's it like being with a duck? When he gets angry, he ruffles his little feathers and they quack first thing in the morning. I quack every time I drop a shit. And that's another thing, he shits all over the floor. <laughs> Robotic Rottweiler asks, what your missus look like and what's her Insta? All right, I suppose. Face like a slapped arse, but, you know, you have to make concessions. No, no, to be fair, she's an absolute looker, because I wouldn't settle for less. Oh. That's your compliments for the month. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's the tie you owe. Okay. Yes, she is good looking, and no, you can't have her Insta. That's mine. Joe Manny Spaz asks, To the marvellous Mrs. of Mayhem, what do you like and dislike about Ducky the most? What I like about you is that you're very carefree. You don't take yourself seriously at all. And to be fair, you put off with my Disney obsession, so... Gonna feed me the shit sandwich now, are you? What do you dislike most about me? Your face. <laughs> now come on, be serious. What do you dislike about me the most? I told you, your face. My face? Yeah. Why? Because it's just there. It's so on my face. Right, my face. Everything but my face. Balsa Central asks, What does your missus think of your jokes about her? Assuming that I don't tell her before the recording. Will she get her own back one day? 
Uh, you always kind of let me read the script first, do you? I tell you, if they're involving you, I tend to let you read them just so you can knock a laugh out of it. That is what I do, to be fair. I don't get offended over them, like... To be fair, when the last script about living with a woman, you laugh <laughs> fucking arse off reading Yeah, that. I cried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do find them very funny. Hmm. No, I probably won't get my own back. And lastly, Ducky, does your missus have you captive? If so, blink twice and I'll contact the police. Uh... Bye.